a lot of people ask me on on Instagram, Twitter, is like, yo, what'd you go to school for? And um, basically, they're like, how how are you? How'd you figure out how to how to code? How, how'd you figure out how to do those things? How'd you come up with this system? So, you know, I figured I, I could tell a little bit about that in a couple of minutes. And honestly, what it was was I I broke my femur in a car accident. I had to learn how to walk, learn how to run, learn how to sprint again. And through that, I became super aware, hyper aware of how I walked, how I moved, how I did everything. And I had a lot of questions. And, you know, I'm obsessive when I start learning. And I wanted to know everything I could about the body and about the way it works. So I began just my own research in college. And, you know, didn't really know what I was doing, but I was watching guys run on my team that were faster than me. And I was trying to understand why they were faster than me. Started to put pieces together. So after college, I went out to the Olympic Training Center, spent some time with some of the best biomechanists in the world, and got some more like science-based approach to what I was doing, um, and then continued my own research and continued my own research. So where it led to is that every single day, I was essentially reading four or five hours a day. Uh, even now, it's probably three, three hours instead of four, but finding different subjects and different things and trying to understand uh, what what creates fast running and looking at even other animals and other and other uh, you know other things like why, what makes cars fast what makes what makes a cheetah fast there's there's similarities between all these and what I found is that there is physical properties that make athletes run fast so when we, we talked about in our in our course there's six different archetypes for athletes that run fast out of these six different archetypes there's a highly physical demand for running fast. Now on the back end of that, if you look deeper, there's a highly technical demand that's gonna influence some of the physical stuff. So for example, there's certain techniques that help you produce more force into the ground, right? But the ability to produce force is a highly physical trait that athletes need to develop. And a lot of athletes for sprinting don't develop. So I dived into number one, what is the first lens I'm gonna look at? I'm gonna look at what are the physical properties that it takes to run fast? Now, what are the technical things that can help these physical properties, right? And then I look at even further on the third side is, what are the individual needs this athlete has? Is one leg more dominant than the other? Do they have an injury history? Is there a big asymmetry between what they're doing? So we try to find ways that we could very, very, very uh, easily individualize for each guy, although they're in a team. So what does each guy need individually? So where it is now is that all the data that we collect, you know, the past couple of years has been a lot of practice, a lot of research. What we're doing is we're trying to quantify a way to individualize for an athlete. So out of those six archetypes, there's six different needs. There's hundreds of different, um, you know, paths from there. So there's hundreds of different ways you can individualize. But the big rocks are we need to solve for those physical needs first and then bleed in some of that technical stuff. So our research had to find what are those what are those physical things? What are the physical big rocks that we can attack on a daily basis with the group that just came out here, which is 14 year old boys? What are the big rocks? We don't have a 1080 out here. They're not on GPS right now. They're not doing ground contact times. But how has our research led to understanding this level of athlete? And that's the key. We know the big rocks because we looked at the data. When it comes to technique, we're not over here teaching all the time. We're developing the forces necessary and then fixing one or two technical things over the course of months. That's it. And it's simple as that. And when I grew up, when I was learning speed, it was so overcomplicated that I felt like I had to have like a PhD just to read the book sometimes, you know? And what we're trying to do now is simplify this process. We'll show you the big rocks. Here's the physical tools you need to develop. Here's the technical things you can do on your own and figure out. And then here's the other like individual things that you only you would know. Have you been injured? How often do you work out? What kind of volume are you doing? What kind of intensity are you doing? Basic stuff. And you can create a program that's world class with anybody at any level. So um, hopefully that answers the question.